President Vladimir Zelensky worked to shore up U.S. support for Ukraine on a whirlwind visit to Washington on Thursday, delivering an upbeat message on the world's progress while facing new questions about the flow of American dollars that for 19 months has helped keep his troops in the fight against Russian forces. The Ukrainian leader received a far quieter reception than the hero's welcome he got last year, but also won generally favorable comments on the aid he says he needs to stave off defeat. Jelensky, in long sleeve olive drab, came to the capital with a firm message in private talks with Republican and Democratic leaders. The Ukrainians have a solid war plan, and they are winning. Lawmakers quoted him as assuring them at a time that the world is watching Western support for Kiev. Zelensky also spoke with military leaders at the Pentagon and was meeting with President Joe Biden at the White House. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin greeted Zelensky at the Pentagon without the usual ceremonial band or fanfare that is typical of a high-level visit. At Congress, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who faces opposition among far-right Republicans aligned with former President Donald Trump on support for Ukraine, notably chose not to join House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries in greeting the Ukrainian president when he arrived at the Capitol. McCarthy also confirmed that he declined Zelensky's request for a joint session of Congress, as happened during the Ukrainian president's dramatic visit to Washington last winter, saying there wasn't time for that on short notice.